In this lecture, we're going to perform a linear regression on a simple data set using the SPSS program. Here on the left, we have a simple data set. We have the ages and incomes for 10 subjects. Now we're going to use SPSS to see if we can predict income using age. So first, we start SPSS in data view. Before we put in any data, we need to tell SPSS what variables we have. So we're going to go down to variable view. Here, we're going to enter in our two variables. We have age and we have income. And for now, all of that is fine. We don't need to make any changes to any of, these inf any of this information here. All the default information should be fine. So let's go back to data view and start entering in our information. First, we enter in the ages of the 10 subjects. So we've got 18, 28, 57, 45, 26, 64, 37, 40, 24, and 33. And finally, we enter in their incomes. So we got 15,000, 29,000, 68,000, 52, 32, 80, 41, 45, 26, and 33,000. So now we have all of their ages and incomes. So now we're going to perform the linear regression to try to predict income from age. We go to Analyze, Regression, and then click on the Linear button. Here we put in age as the independent variable and income as the dependent variable. And we're not going to worry about this stuff for now. We're just going to run a simple regression. So let's hit OK. Here this gives us a few things. First, it gives us our descriptive statistics. Income has an average of 42,100, and age has an average of 37.2 for this data set. Down here, we have our correlations. We see that the correlation between age and income is 0.993, and that it's significant. So there's a relationship between age and income, and it's actually a very strong one. So we should be able to make very strong predictions about income using age. Here, let's go down to our table of coefficients. This tells us our coefficients, obviously. Our coefficient for our constant is, well, our constant is negative 7,868.896, and the coefficient for age is 1,443.250. So I'm going to make this a bit smaller, there we go, and show you exactly what that means. It's really giving us our linear equation. Like our linear equation here is y equals Oops, there we go. 1,343.250x minus 7,868.896. So now, if we put in an x value for this equation, that is, if we put in any age, it will allow us to predict income. And there we go. We have performed linear regression using SPSS.